Hey guys, welcome back to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Psychoduck, and I am here uh, with a Forge tutorial covering static timers. First of all, I want to apologize for our recent lack of uploads. Uh, we're getting back into it. We had finals and all kinds of stuff, and have been really busy. Anyways, uh, static timers are basically going to allow you to force weapons to respawn at specific intervals throughout the match. In Halo 2 Anniversary, uh, you'll find that weapons don't actually respawn until after they're dropped. So normally, let's say you have a rocket launcher on a 30 second, or sorry, 3 minute respawn time, but someone picks it up and holds onto it for 5 minutes before dropping it, those rockets aren't actually going to respawn for 8 minutes because that timer isn't initiated until they drop the rockets. So usually in competitive play, you're going to want to have static weapon timers where a weapon is respawning, let's say, every two minutes regardless of whether it's picked up or not. And this trick was actually shown to be by Secret Schnitzel. Uh, I know a lot of the Forge Hub guys have been using this and it's a really cool trick. So it's pretty straightforward. You're actually just going to be using timers. And basically you're going to set up a string of timers that is activated uh, throughout the game and then you're going to tie your weapons to that. So um, I would recommend using a 60 second interval for the timers. If you want 30 second intervals, you can, but I wouldn't screw around with trying to get all of your weapons on these timers. I would just use it for the big ticket power weapons you have on your map. Uh, so 60 second interval is preferable because it uh, gets a little messy otherwise. Uh, but anyways, we're going to start by placing a timer on once. And the first thing we have to do is actually account for the 10 second loadout camera. So this first timer is actually going to account for that. So we place the timer on once. We're going to uh, go into advanced, uh, but we're actually going to leave the advanced settings alone on this one. But then we're going to go into scripting and we're going to set the broadcast channel to zero and we are going to set the user data to 10. So that means it's going to broadcast at 10 seconds. Now for this next timer, we're going to set place at start to false, but actually, okay, so we're gonna set the spawn channel to zero in correspondence with the other timer. Spawn at start is gonna be false. And then the broadcast channel is gonna be one and user data is going to be 60. So that means that 60 seconds after the first timer broadcasts, this timer is going to broadcast. Now if we keep duplicating this throughout the match, normal match would be 15 minutes, so you'd need 15 of these if you're on 60 seconds. And then you're going to just move the spawn sequence up by one and the broadcast channel up by one uh, and leave everything else the same for these. So basically you're going to have a timer that broadcasts every 60 seconds throughout the match. You could do it with 30 seconds, you could do it with two minutes, uh, however you want to do it. Um, but I would do 60 and then you can just build all of your weapon respawns off of this. And it's uh, pretty straightforward. So um, we have all these. Uh, if, you know, I, I would have more of these for 60 seconds, I'd have to have 15. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is kind of object intensive, but it, it doesn't hurt anything. So once you have all those, you'll have to actually set up your weapons. Now, I'm going to be building uh, the uh, rocket launcher spawn and the sniper rifle spawn off this. You can build as many uh, weapons off of this timer as you want. I would recommend just doing it for the power weapons again, though. So first, I'm going to place a rocket launcher. And I want the rocket launcher to respawn every two minutes. I know that's kind of fast, but just for sake of example. Uh, I would recommend putting these on coordinates so you can have all of your rocket launchers in the same exact spot because you're actually going to need several of them. Uh, so you're going to set the spawn sequence to never. You're going to go into advanced and you're going to set place at start to false. Uh, because you don't want it respawning of its own accord. You want it tied to the timer. Then we're going to set the spawn sequence to zero. And that's it for this one. So then the next one, we're going to duplicate that. We're going to place it in the same spot. And uh, we are going to... Um, set the spawn sequence to two because if we set it to one it would respawn in 60 seconds so we're going to set it to two and also you want candy spawn set as true on here and then we're just going to keep doing that so you know you need to account for the length of the game so you need it to keep going uh, and then for this since i want it respawning every two minutes it's going to just be you know duplicated uh, at intervals of two so it's going to be 
spawn, uh, spawn channel 0, then spawn channel 2, then 4, etc. So here I'm going to do the same thing with a sniper rifle, except I'm going to make it respawn every minute, uh, which is, you know, you, you do the same exact process. Um, you're going to need to, again, I'd put it on coordinates so they're all inside of each other. And you set your spawn time down to 0. Or never, actually. And then you're going to go into advanced and set place it start to false. Then you go into scripting and you set your spawn channel to zero. Uh, can the spawn true? And then you're going to just duplicate these, moving the spawn channel up by one each time. And these are going to respawn every 60 seconds. So I know this seems maybe a, a little complicated at first, but it's actually pretty straightforward and it's really important, you know, maybe to just do if you have like a rockets and two sniper rifles on a map, you know, just do it for your big ticket power weapons, get those on synchronized response and it's going to be really great. Uh, and, you know, if you want to test it out, just launch a custom game and just watch your little timer in the bottom corner and you'll have, you know, these snipers will spawn every 60 seconds, the rockets will spawn every two minutes. So uh, it's a really nifty trick. It's pretty useful. Um, I'm definitely going to start using these on some of my maps. Uh, so thanks to Secret Schnitzel for showing me this trick. And uh, if you guys have any questions regarding this trick, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys find this useful. Bye-bye.